In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over the no value field types. Uh, you'll notice these are the field types that are down here at the bottom. You have a section header, HTML, and then Word action hook, WordPress action hook. I'm going to go over all three of these and kind of show you how they work. Basically, what it means by no value field type, it means that no value is going to actually be saved to the listing. Um, so the section header, HTML, the action hook, these are all to help you customize the front end, the listing page. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with the section header and kind of that should give you a brief idea understanding how it works. So go with section header and let's say um, we'll just go with job um, custom section. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go, this is going to be a section header and you'll see it in a minute how it works. So I'm going to put as our label, I'm going to put custom fields. And then description is, these are the custom fields we created. Now you notice there's no advanced settings on here. Um, like I said, any time there is an advanced setting, it will show up on there. But since this is a no value field, it's basically just to add a header on there. So now we're, what we're going to do, and what you need to make sure that you, you look at is going to be the priority. Because the section header is going to be output based on the priority. So I'm going to go ahead and just, for the time being, I'm going to set it at 8 just to get the field actually saved and put on there. Now, you'll notice we have two pages here. So I'm going to go ahead and come here, and I'm going to go ahead and change this to 30 so that I can see all of the fields on one page. Now, you'll notice down here, we have our section header is down here. It's priority 8, so this is going to be the last field that's output. So what I want to do is now I want to make sure that our custom fields are shown below this section header. So what I need to do is I need to come here and actually edit our custom fields and make sure that their priority is higher than the priority of the section header. So now you'll see the section header is above the salary range, that custom field. So let's go ahead and do the job benefits. Let's put that 8.2. And then we've got job certifications, 23, and job shifts at 8.4. So now you'll notice we have our section header that's right here. And I moved all of my other custom fields below this because that's what I want. I want all my custom fields to show below this. So now let's go to the front end and see what that's going to look like. Go here to post a job. Now we'll scroll down, you'll notice, see right here, there's our new section header. So if you notice, we come down here, you see how the company details has its own section header, where it has the information. We now have this header that separates the fields, and then you'll notice we have our custom fields, and there's our salary, benefits, certifications, job shift. Come back here, you can see it, there's our header right there, and there it shows up with those below it. Now, uh, let's go ahead and add another one, and I'll show you another value one, and we'll add it below our custom section header. Let's go ahead and do an HTML no field value. This, is, this field type is specifically for outputting any type of HTML you may want to, to output. Um, it's not uh, going to save any values, like I mentioned before, so it's really up to you what you set the meta key as. That's just how we're going to reference it. So we'll do job custom fields. HTML. Now the label is not required. You can put it here if you want, but that's going to put, if you look on here, notice how we have like job salary, benefits, that is the label right there. So if you omit that, nothing's going to be output there. If you don't omit it and you put something in there, then that's going to show whatever you put there. So what I'm going to do here is let's put, um, let's do, go ahead and do this strong. So HTML. And just so you know, you can use HTML tags in um, any of the label or the description fields, uh, specifically the description field for any type of field type. It doesn't matter if it's an HTML field type or not. You can input your own HTML tags in here uh, to kind of format it, make it look however you want. So let's go ahead and just, we'll do a, um, a list. And this is kind of just as an example, the possibilities are really endless and up to you. Do that, Ellen. We'll do another one, we'll do item two, and we'll close that. We'll go ahead and save, add this new field. 
And actually we need to set this, so since we're going to be putting it below our section header, let's do it at, um, let's do 8.6, so it's at the very bottom. Okay, let's go back here, let's refresh this guy. Actually no, we don't want to refresh it, let's go post a job. Listing details, scroll down. And look at that, what is that? That's our HTML. So you'll notice we moved it to the bottom below our custom field header. And there we go, we have the label showing right there. It's showing in a bold format because that's the HTML tag we use. And then over here, you can see we have our list items. So this is some, something, a field type you can use just to add your own HTML. Completely up to you, you can do it however you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do one more. We'll go ahead and do our WordPress action hook. Now the way that the WordPress action hook one works and I recommend going to the website um, to check out the, uh, the documentation because this will give you more information about these action hooks. Basically what this does is when you set this here, so let's do job custom fields hook. My label, and you can put description, you can put whatever you want in here. What this action hook is going to do is it will actually, when it goes to output right where that field's at, so right here we did the HTML one. If we had this action hook field and we had this save, what it's going to do is it's going to call a specific WordPress action right at that point, which will allow you to, you know, write your own code in, in PHP and then output anything you want there. So that gives you a little bit more fine grained, um, you know, outside of the HTML and having it edited here. Um, the action hook allows you to, you know, put all the code and everything you want to output you know, in your actual themes functions.php file. Um, I don't have one set up right now, so I'm not gonna gonna add this here or not. Um, but I will include the link to the documentation in the YouTube and this YouTube video. So um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.